My background is in engineering, and I'm a civil engineer by training. And my career has really been around government service. So when the opportunity came up to serve the city of San Francisco, that was just an opportunity I, I really needed to explore. I think it was in junior high, I really started to do well in math. But I faced some very interesting challenges. Many young ladies were not in math, and I was the only one in some of these classes. It was tough, it was difficult to succeed um, when maybe a, a teacher didn't have confidence in you. But I was determined and I realized that engineering really is what I was interested in. As I moved into college and uh, took engineering, pre-engineering classes, once again I hit some of those same stereotypes of women are not in this field. That just challenged me more. And because I was enjoying it, I was determined then to be successful. Now, I took that drive that I have and I coupled it with public service. Often we are the unsung heroes of technology in the city, whether it's delivering network services internally or for our broadband services to uh, low-income housing. Free Wi-Fi for all of the residents here so that folks have access to do job searches, housing searches, or anything else that anyone else could do in our great city. We are putting the plant in the ground to make all the city services available to our residents. And it's difficult work, but it's also very exciting and rewarding. And our team is exceptional, very talented engineers and analysts who work to deliver the data and the services and the technology every day. I love working with Linda because she's fun. You can tell anything under the sun and she will listen and give you solutions or advice. She's very generous and thoughtful and remembers all the special days that you're, you know, you're celebrating. I have seen always employee safety, organization resiliency and cybersecurity is always Linda's top priority. I'm always feeling proud and inspired working with her. I think what's interesting about my work and my family is my experience is not unique, but is different in that I'm a single parent. And so having a career that is demanding and then also having a child to raise is, has been a challenge. I think for parents that are working and trying to balance um, a career that takes a lot of time or may have some interruptions, uh, if there's an emergency or that sort of thing, and you have to be able to still take care of your family and then also do your service to your job. So that's probably my takeaway and a lot of lessons learned that I know a lot of parents have is how do you do that balance? And I like to think I did a good job. For me, watching my son go through school and now enter the job market and he's in the medical field and starting his career, he was always an intern. One of the things that we try to do here and that one of my takeaways from raising him is how important internships are. And here in the Department of Technology, we pride ourselves on our interns. We have 20 to 25 each year. They do a terrific job contributing to either our, our outside plant fiber work or our network engineering or our finance team. This last time they took to programming our reception robot Pepper and they added videos to it and all this sort of thing so it was really fun to see their creativity and their innovation come out. I would describe working at DT as really friendly. Very hands-on. Amazing. Intriguing. The way I unwind is with my photography and taking pictures around the city. When I drive around California, I enjoy taking a lot of landscapes. The weather here changes very often, so you get a beautiful sunset or you get a big bunch of clouds, especially along the waterfront, of course, is spectacular. 
so I just took some photos of Big Sur and just had a wonderful time, not only with the water photos, but also all of the, the rocks and the bushes and the landscapes are just phenomenal. My advice to young ladies and women who would like to move into STEM fields is to really look at why you're there. If you are a problem solver, if you like to analyze information, if you like to discover new things, if you like to come up with alternatives and, and invent new practice, STEM is such a fabulous opportunity, whether it's computer science or engineering or biology or medicine. Oh my goodness, there are so many opportunities. If, if you have that kind of mindset, I have enjoyed working in San Francisco so much because of the diversity. The diversity of the people, of the city, of the values, of the talent that is here in the city. It is stimulating and motivating and inspiring. And I cannot imagine working anywhere else but in San Francisco.